Hello there, I'm Shah Nawaz. I'm a first year PhD student at University College Cork. To begin with, I would like to thank Science Foundation Ireland, Marais and Engineering and Physical Science Council UK for their generous In this video, I would like to share with you my journey at RBCDT. RBCDT is very comprehensive and unique um, for me, in a sense that the program itself is very structured and the program offers uh, a lot of industrial and academic collaborators who I can work with and it, it also has a lot of uh, cohort activity such as the student-led conference, uh, colloquium and summer school which not only will help me to gain uh, valuable experience and knowledge in my research field but also will help me to uh, develop my skill as a future leader of this industry. My project at RBCDT is Demand Response in Smart Grid Applications. The project is supervised by Dr. Dominic O'Sullivan from University College Cork and Dr. Bianca Howard from Lockborough University. To begin with, uh, I would like to introduce what is a smart grid. The smart grid introduces a two-way dialogue where electricity and information can be exchanged between the utility operators and their customers. It's a developing network of communication control, computers, automation, new technologies and tools working together to make the grid more efficient, more reliable, more secure and greener. This smart grid enable newer technologies to be integrated such as wind and solar energy production and also plug-in electric vehicles. Demand response itself is a newer concept in the smart grid paradigm. Demand response refers to the shift in the uses of electricity by the customers from their regular using habit in response to the increase in electricity rates over the time or opportunities to limit the use of electricity at periods of elevated wholesale market cost or when the efficiency of the grid is undermined. In order to participate in demand response, usually the utility operators provide an in incentive to their customers that motivates the customers to participate in demand response program. Demand response can help in accommodating intermittent renewable energy generation by incorporating demand side flexibility. Normally, in our electrical grid, the generation and demand has to be same or maintained all the time. But when we have a lot of renewable energy generation, whose energy production pattern is very irregular over the time, it poses a great challenge for the utility operators when they integrate a lot of renewable energy generation to the grid. Because of this reason, when we have a lot of electricity generation that is happening from renewable energy sources, we have sometimes excessive generation, sometimes our demand is higher than the electricity generation. So because of that reason, thermal generators have to follow that kind of fluctuation. Because of that, the utility operators have, uh, faces a lot of problems, operational challenges when they integrate the renewable energy sources to the grid. From our literature review and initial research, we have identified some research questions that are mainly focused on industrial DR. Uh, from our literature review, we have seen that a lot of work has been done on residential deer. So not many work have been done in industrial deer because of that reason we want to explore that area and we want to uh, assess some of the research questions that we have found during our uh, literature review. So some of the questions that really intrigue us are how can we identify what kind of assets like what kind of re industrial resources that can be used for deer what are the operational constraints or asset parameter or, re, or the risk factor 
that industry have when they are participating in the year. Another research question that we have is um, how we can model uh, or solve complex industrial demand response problem. So demand response has to deal with a lot of uncertainties. That uncertainties has to be in uncertainty in demand forecasting, uncertainty in asset modeling, and also how we can uh, solve those complex optimization problems. Uh, the last question that we want to explore is how can how we can integrate multiple industrial loads to exploit the demand response potential. So it has to do with the coordination of multiple assets in the industry that will participate in demand response and it will give some uh, value to the industry. In this research, we have perform a comprehensive review on a demand response in both industrial and residential context. Uh, the finding of this re comprehensive review is published in a conference recently. Uh, in regards to that, we will design a preliminary case study that will be focused on industrial DR and it will be in context with the research problems that we mentioned earlier. Thank you all for listening to this video. Please go to the description below for getting the latest update on my research. Feel free to contact with me if you find my research interesting. Thank you.